What's going on guys? Welcome back. It is July 13th. It's 5 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm going to fish for about 3 hours this evening. Primarily going to be looking for pike, but I imagine I'll be getting into just as many bass. So depending on what the ratio is between the two, I'll probably swap over to bass. Um, it's kind of a cloudy, overcast evening. It rained about half of the day. It rained pretty hard, so we're moving out of a low pressure system into a high pressure. It's about 60 degrees out, off and on showers. Primarily going to be fishing with spinner baits, big in lines, and a big 7 inch fluke. Um, I'm going to try a chartreuse colored spinner bait. It's that one I used on that last bass episode. I'll be using just a plain chartreuse. I have a number 5. Um, willow blade on it gonna be looking for these fish anywhere from three to eight feet of water some places maybe ten gonna be shooting for the edge of weed lines a lot of these weed lines go from three feet down to ten which is great for pike I like to hide right on the edge of them weed lines and hit anything that goes next to them so we're gonna get fishing and see if we can pick some fish up Fish. Nice smallmouth. Nice smallmouth. About five minutes in, I don't know some. About five minutes. Oh, we just let go. Just had a nice smallmouth on. That's probably like a three-pound smallmouth. It's good fish. Got in kind of a strange spot. Another fish. Second fish in a row. And we have, I think, a little pike this time. Yeah, pike in the four range, five range maybe. So they're liking that chartreuse color. I know that's a lot of people's go-to color. It's never really been one of my go-to's, but. I'm just gonna kinda let this fish jump around. If he pops off, if he pops off. I'm not gonna worry about it. All right, little guy. He absolutely crushed that spinner bait though. So that was the second cast, well, second fish. Um, I hooked that little small mouth. That thing popped off next to the boat and cast after that, this guy hit. Not a big guy, but just thick fish. This time of year, they're really, they're eating well, they're beefing up and they're pretty heavy fish. Came off the chartreuse spinnerbait. Chartreuse. It's a 5 8 ounce. Oh, he tore that up pretty good. Um, it's a 5 8 ounce with a number 5 blade on it. Alright, let's get another one. So I'm only about 5 minutes in to them two fish. Both of them fish came off the edge of a, a weed line. The weeds were in probably three feet of water and the weed line dropped off into maybe five, six feet of water and both of them fish came off the edge of that weed line as I was pulling the spinner bait on the edge. Just kind of like how I figured they'd be this time of year, they love them deep weed lines. You know, they'll hang right on the edge of them weeds and wait for bait fish to come through and, you know, they'll push bait fish up onto them weed lines and just great places to target um, bass and pike this time of year.
fish. I think we have a monster crappie. Yeah, that's a big crappie. Look at the size of that crappie. Look how he ate that sprinter bait. That has got to be one of the hardest hits I've ever had from a crappie. He absolutely annihilated that spinner bait. That is an enormous crappie. That's got to be six. 12. That's got to be a six, a 15 inch crappie. Just an absolute enormous fish. Oh no, rookie mistake. I didn't set my drag. I gotta get a hook set on the fish. I think I got it. Rookie mistake. Just made a rookie mistake. Went to set the hook on this fish and my drag was completely loose. It feels like a decent pike. I mean, certainly not a monster, but I haven't seen it yet. Could be a bass. I think it's a nice bass. Yeah, it's a nice bass. Probably three and a half. Could potentially be pushing four pounds. That same color spinnerbait came off a deep weed bed that's probably three feet. Really surprised I got the hook set on that fish. I had like pretty much zero drag on that. There we go, nice fat put. Nice fat four pound fish. That is an absolute brute. Nice and fat. It's easily in the four pound range. Beautiful fish, we'll take it. Very nice. Very, very nice. Same spinnerbait. That first pike absolutely annihilated that. I only have two of this color and it's working darn good this evening. So I'm gonna wrap some line around that and see if I can save it. If I get another pike, that's absolutely gonna rip that off. So I wanna uh, get some line on that and hopefully save it. Fish just rolled on me in there. Oh, got it. Whoa. Still on? Yep, still on. Not a big pike, but he hit it like he was. Great thing about pike this time of year is even the small ones fight like they're absolute champs. This is no more than a 24 inch fish, but um, this time of year, they got some serious weight to them. This fish hit it. Then he came back for it for a second hit. But not a big fish, but they absolutely hit it like they are a big fish though. They absolutely mean business this time of year when they hit something. So even the small ones like that are fun. You don't always have to catch the big monsters to you know, make it a, a fun fish to catch. 
Tampa line. Been doing really well so far. This last little weed patch I fished, I didn't get anything. Um, tied it in one of these big end lines. Pretty much the same color I'm running on my spinner bait, but um, just in inline spinner version. I'm gonna see if I can get some attention of a little bigger of fish with these. I'm not gonna fish this a lot if I don't get bit on it. If I don't get bit in the next 10, 15, 20 minutes, I'm probably gonna go back over to the spinner bait just because that's been doing so well. Um, but we're gonna hop to another shoreline and see if we can get some fish over there. Little bass. Nice fat little guy. Should be a little fish. Oh, fish, fish. I think this is a nice pike. Yep, I think we got a nice pike. I think we got a nice pike. I haven't actually seen it yet. Oh yeah, monster pike. I don't like to do that because sometimes if they get the gill plate, um, Good fish, he's right in the weeds though. Get out of the weeds, get out of the weeds, get out of the weeds. Not a big bass, but he got me right in the weeds. It's probably a three pound bass, plus or minus. All right, buddy, come on. Please don't shake with that big treble hook. There we go, nice bass. Three, three and a half. Beautiful fish, nice and healthy. No sores or anything. Nice and healthy bass, nice and chubby. Little guy, little, little pike, or pickerel, and yeah, it's pickerel. All right, what do we have, a little pike? Yeah, little guy. Well, maybe a little pickerel. Yeah, it's a little pike. All right, all right, enough, 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 enough. It's a little guy.
fish. We have a bass. Yep, decent bass. Just about winding down here. bass to end the night with. Nice healthy fat bass. That's three and a half, maybe four. Um, probably closer to three and a half, but we're probably going to wrap it up here. All right, so that was a great bass to end the night with. Um, overall, just an absolute amazing um, evening. Fish for about three hours. Did very well. Um, one of my favorite systems to fish is after a rainstorm. It rained pretty much up till noon, one o'clock, and then it cleared off into a, a oh, right at the boat, right at the boat. Um, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, cleared, <clears throat> cleared off right, cleared off right around one o'clock, and it's been beautiful ever since. Um, for some reason, fish just absolutely. Um, love them patterns too. Some of the biggest fish and best days I've ever had have been either right before a storm or right after a storm. But got into some great bass. The bass are finally starting to be a little more aggressive. You know, finally starting to get into some better sized bass. But uh, overall a great night. That guy hit right at the boat. Just getting ready to pop my lure out of the water and he smacked it. Um, so yeah, we're gonna call it good there. Um, I'm gonna fish for about another five minutes, but if I get one, I'll pop the camera on. But if not, we're gonna sign off for this one and we'll see you guys on the next one.